Having a goal of being a good dad and being a good father is much more important to me than how my movie does this weekend. What would you do to keep your dearest memories alive? If there was one thing legendary actor Bruce Willis wanted to do in his life, it was to always be there for his children, come hell or high water. But in 2023, his family revealed one devastating illness that Bruce could not escape. That the actor's been diagnosed with something called frontotemporal dementia. What makes Bruce's condition even more heartbreaking is this one detail that doctors revealed about his illness. Outcome of this is always death. Yeah. Always death. Always death. It is a terrifying reality. That 10% of Americans over 65 suffer from dementia. But how can you be sure that you're not one of them? What are the early signs of dementia? What are its late signs? And is there anything you can do to prevent it? Today, we will reveal four detrimental daily habits that cause dementia and some simple yet powerful changes you can make in your lifestyle today that will reduce your chances of developing dementia when you least expect it. But in order to understand this illness and some of its earliest symptoms, we need to take a look at Bruce Willis's tragic story. Bruce Willis was born on March 19, 1955 in West Germany, where his father was stationed at an American military base. When Bruce was just two, his family moved to New Jersey. For Bruce, childhood was a painful time since he would stutter a lot while speaking. This was particularly frustrating for the young boy with a bright mind who had countless thoughts he wanted to share, but just couldn't. During high school, Bruce realized that he loved taking part in his high school plays. Of course, he didn't know that one day he would capture the hearts of millions of people around the world. In fact, he didn't know if he even wanted to pursue acting as a career at all. But deep down, there was one thing that Bruce did know. So he enrolled in Montclair State University in New Jersey, which was known for its theater program. He later dropped out of college to try his luck at theater. He landed a few small jobs during the 1980s. His big break, however, came in 1985 with the TV series Moonlighting. What cemented Bruce's title as a Hollywood legend was his role as Detective John McClane in the 1988 action movie Die Hard. As his career skyrocketed beyond his wildest dreams, Bruce also found himself falling in love after meeting Demi Moore in 1987. Just a few months later, Bruce proposed and the couple got married. They had three daughters together, Rumor, Scout, and Tallulah. With fatherhood came a life-changing realization for Bruce. For the first time in his life, Bruce wasn't thinking about his life, his career, or even his desires. He was thinking about his family. Bruce and Demi's marriage lasted just a little over a decade and the two parted ways in 1998. Bruce would remarry in 2009 to model Emma Hemming. The couple remained close with Demi Moore and her then-husband Ashton Kutcher, even inviting them to their wedding and frequently getting together as one big family. Bruce went on to have two more daughters with Emma, Mabel and Evelyn. Though his family life was perfect, Bruce's struggles were far from over, which people around him soon picked up on. He was tired and I can see that there was also some cognitive issues going on. Little did they know that this was actually Bruce's dementia that had begun to show signs. The production team on the set of Glass during 2017 and 2018 noticed that Bruce would often appear confused and began needing help with his lines. Later in 2020, on the set of Hard Kill, Bruce missed his cue and shot a prop gun at the wrong time, not once, but twice. While thankfully no one got injured, this incident got the crew increasingly worried about the actor's health. By April of 2021, Bruce's symptoms grew so strong that he once paused, looked around the set of white elephants, pointed his finger at the production crew and said, I know why you're here, and I know why you're here, but why am I here? Then, in 2022, Bruce's family shared the devastating news that he was diagnosed with aphasia and will be stepping away from his career. Later on, the 68-year-old actor would be diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. It is a heartbreaking thing for Bruce and his family to go through. 
In order to face an illness like dementia, you need to understand it first. Dementia is actually an umbrella term for various kinds of cognitive decline. The most common type of dementia is Alzheimer's disease, which makes up for 60 to 80% of all cases. Around 5 to 10% of cases are mainly Lewy body, vascular, and frontotemporal dementia. Yes, dementia is common, but it is not a healthy part of aging. As of today, there is no cure for it. In England, dementia is the single most common cause of death. In America, one in 10 people over the age of 45 have reported some degree of cognitive decline. Keep in mind that those are just the diagnosed cases. There are potentially thousands of more that were never spotted. Now, the most crucial question is, are you at risk of developing dementia? And to find the answer, you need to take an honest look at your lifestyle. Here are some of the biggest risk factors of dementia. Chronic inflammation in the body, prediabetes and type 2 diabetes, sleep deprivation, genetic trait called ApoE4, toxic exposures, low years of education, acute trauma or other direct brain injury, old age, high blood pressure, obesity, dyslipidemia or smoking, depression, anxiety, apathy or loneliness. The tricky thing is that it is very difficult for doctors to pick up on early symptoms of dementia. Only the person experiencing those symptoms can identify what they are going through. So now you have a job that no one else can do for you. Watch out for early signs of dementia. If you have problems with 1. Short-term memory 2. Language 3. Physiospatial skills such as drawing, buttoning your shirt, or making your bed. 4. Multitasking. 5. Problem solving, planning, or rationalizing. It might be time to see a doctor. And since there is no cure for this disease, you need to learn how to prevent it today by avoiding habits which increase the risk of dementia and making four very simple lifestyle changes. But before we continue, please remember to hit the bell icon so we can let you know every time we make a new video that could potentially save you or someone else's life. So here is your first daily habit change. Cut down your daily intake of sugar and refined carbohydrates. This means that it's time to watch out for these foods. Cereal bars, cookies, cakes, fruit juices, hot chocolate, canned fruit, and other highly processed sugary foods, as well as white bread, white rice, white pasta, pastries, and french fries. These foods cause your blood sugar, inflammation, and insulin levels to spike. And as these levels go up, your cognitive functions go down. If you are a pre-diabetic with very high blood sugar and insulin levels, you are at a 70 to 100% higher risk of developing dementia. So what should you eat as carbohydrates instead? On two to three meals per day, you should have at least two handfuls of green leafy vegetables like kale, spinach and rucola, and vegetables on the whole color spectrum like tomatoes, carrots, cucumber, beetroot, and yellow capsicum. These foods will keep you full give you stable blood sugar and insulin levels, and drive down inflammation, which is one of the root causes of dementia. The next very important tip is, reduce the level of stress at your job. If you have a job with high stress levels and have very little control over it, you are at a greater risk of developing dementia. Here's what you can do. First, identify all the things that are stressing you out and try to minimize them. It can be a certain person, a specific task, or even a certain weekly meeting. Next, identify the positive parts of your job and see if you can maximize them. With this technique, you won't just be reducing stress, but you're going to enjoy your job more. And when you keep your brain busy at work, your cognitive abilities are going to stick around much longer. 
The third tip is make sure you're getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep. When you're sleeping, your brain gets washed by something known as cerebral spinal fluid. It removes the metabolic waste caused by stress that your brain develops throughout the day due to stressors. If you let this waste build up, your chances of developing dementia increase. Sleep deprivation also activates a part of your brain known as the amygdala, which controls negative emotions like fear or stress. Once this gets activated, you'll start to feel stressed in situations that really shouldn't be all that stressful. And stress, as we know by now, puts you at a greater risk of developing dementia. So it's important to let yourself have a healthy night of sleep. And the final tip is this, keep learning new skills. When you're young, you are constantly learning new skills. This mental exertion also keeps your brain young. But as you grow older and get good at things, your brain feels like it's not being challenged enough. For example, studies have shown that amateur musicians who are learning instruments tend to have a younger brain than professional musicians as they use their brain more than professionals. Amateur musicians are less good, so playing their instrument is harder for them compared to professionals who play their instrument more automatically. Remember, do not let your brain age. Try learning new languages, taking up new hobbies, and honing new skills. Even playing Sudoku helps. So now you know what habits to avoid and what to increase to improve your chances to prevent dementia. One, eat less sugar and refined carbohydrates. Two, reduce stress. Three, get enough sleep. Four, keep your brain busy and young. The crucial thing is, will you follow them? Dementia is one of the cruelest ways to lose someone you love our hearts go out to Bruce and his family. It is important that you are aware of all the preventative measures you can take to save yourself and your loved ones from a tragedy like this. Let us know which of these tips you will incorporate in your life.